Welcome everybody to Supreme Family Garden. And today, guys, we're going to talk about what exactly does your garden say about you? Me, myself, I like to keep it neat, but in a garden, it's hard. It's very hard. But we're going to give you guys a few ideas, okay? Behind me, this is our banana tree section and aloe plants. The reason, guys, you want to try to keep everything as organized in your garden, in your yard, number one, it's easier to maintain. Reason being, if you see here, we just raised a lot of pine needles today and yesterday. And I can come in one spot. it's easier for you to come out from last this general area let's say 666 111 it makes it easier later down the line instead of doing things that I've done in the past having a tree here having a tree there having a tree here having a tree there okay because you we have to remember like um actually I'll show you better than I can tell you Column. All right, guys, now we're going to bring you here to our peach section. Peach and nectarines. And as you can see here, this is one of our peach trees. I'm not going to go into the name of them right now. I'm just showing you guys how we can organize things in our yard to make things a lot simpler, okay? Because everything in the garden, uh, especially for beginner gardeners, it doesn't have to be as complicated as some people make it, okay? It really doesn't have to be, okay? Let's see here, another peach tree. another peach tree and here is another peach tree that's the biggest one we got there and now over here this I need to move this guy out of here, but it is growing fantastic. This is my pomegranate tree. Now we bought this thing, it was in like a one gallon or two gallon pot about seven years ago. And look at this, this thing is beautiful. Growing in nothing but mulch. So I need to actually my plans if all goes well um in the next week or two i'm gonna bring you guys along and i'm gonna actually transplant this guy and one of my subscribers they don't live but like an hour away and they're gonna come and they're gonna they said they're gonna come and take this tree so hopefully so if i have honey you may want to back up a little bit so i can actually show them exactly what i'm talking about what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this guy out and I'm going to take this guy out. That's going to give me a lot more adequate space right here to allow that tree, which is my peach tree, I can allow one of them to get as big as it possibly can, okay? 
And again, it's going to look a lot more organized, okay? Not only am I going to be able to reap the fruit from my labors and from my trees, but looking that way, it's going to give me a lot of privacy for what's behind me. So always remember, guys, plant your trees in areas, but let the area make sense to you. Don't just stick it in the ground to say, I got a tree. Let that tree make sense, okay? Now this way, this is another peach tree. Yes, it looked like it's on his last leg. My son put it there just now, bless his heart. I know he did it wrong, but I'll figure it out a little later. And on the other side down there, there's another peach tree. And if you guys remember, there was banana trees in this area and we put the banana trees over with the other banana trees. So again, when I cover that area, I don't have to go over here, I don't have to go over there, I don't have to, everything is in its own area, okay? Uh, oh yeah, this is a good one. Okay, and right here, this is our nectarine tree, okay? It's growing pretty good, I mean it, And I actually like nectarines more than I do peaches, but it seems like the peaches just grow better. I don't know, but we're gonna see. And again, over here, this is what I mean, guys, by having things organized, okay? Now, behind this teepee, there are guava trees. I know I'm gonna have to cut these guys back, so when I get around to it, I'm gonna dig up the, uh, what is it, one, two, come on, let's actually see. Yeah, there's three huge guava trees, but we have like three or four more planted uh, back by the dogs. So I'm probably going to dig up these guys and I'm going to put um, more plum trees in this area. So it'll look nice, you know, so when we think about it as gardeners or as people, you okay, as people in general, not only we have to work hard at it, but a thing of beauty it's a joy forever. And I can't just come out and just look at a mess all the time. You know, I want, I want everything to have its own place, okay? Because, um, again, guys, do whatever you want to do. But later down the line, it's going to be a lot easier for you, okay? When you plant your trees, if you can look here, I can take my mower. We're going to pretend for a second, okay? Understand right there? My mower has a 60-inch deck can get between each one of my trees and mow my lawn. You do not want to do what I used to do and just put a damn, put a dog on tree in certain spots. You want to make sure it makes sense because once that tree gets established, the tree's going to be here. You're going to have a root system way out here. Think of the time it's going to take to dig that tree up replant that tree you and your significant other or your dog whatever you got there go out in your yard before you plant your tree and let it make sense before you plant it okay let it make sense trust me okay honey if you want to turn that camera around again please these are our other peach trees, okay? And one down here. Everything has to have its own section. If some of my peach trees weren't as big as they are, I'd have like a peach row. Everything would be done completely different. If I can get my neighbor's tractor, I'm gonna dig them up and I'm gonna transplant every one of them. Also, you do not wanna do that in the heat of the summer, okay? You wanna make sure your trees look like this. No leaves before you start fondling with it. Okay? Um, we have more over there, but 
that doesn't really play. But again, guys, put thought into your garden. Put thought into your yard before you go out there so you don't make the mistakes. All right, guys, and over here, these are our grapevines. And again, by having things somewhat organized, life will be a lot easier, okay? And if you want to take the camera and show them, There's my son. Supreme Family Garden here, better yards, better gardens. If you like the video, if you don't, thank you for watching and clicking. Anyway, may God bless each and every one of you. Stay tuned to the next video. We appreciate you watching. JG3 Farms, I know you're watching the video. None of y'all can grow peaches like me. I know it. And Miss Carolyn Timmons, thank you so very much for you always watching. You seem like a sweet lady. And you should start yourself a YouTube channel so we can see you. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.